So we're in the kitchen now, and we've been doing some hacks, gadgets and hacks. Yes. And you brought your drill. <laughs> So you I don't know where I we're going with this. Well, you know what? Aside from food trends, yeah. there's so many foodie hacks that are so trendy right now. Yes. Every time I open anything on social media, I'm seeing these. And I thought, you know what? I want to test some of them out Try to see some. if they actually work. Yeah. And if they do, let's sing their praises. Because okay. if it saves us time and it's fun, and which most of these are, especially when there's a drill involved, <laughs> uh, why not give it a try? So the first one that I saw online, I thought, how perfect for summer entertaining. Most people show up with like the potato salad to yeah. a party or you know they've they've done a whole thing yeah show up go dirty dancing styles show up with a watermelon <laughs> just a the whole then, watermelon and then you go oh you brought a watermelon you're like but wait for it and then you put on a show okay you get a knife and you cut a hole out of the top of the watermelon so it really simple you just plop, plop this right off yeah and then you take a whisk you put it into the chuck of your drill yeah you give it a little like squish around on the inside and then Cover it, the hole, just in case. White just pants case. today. And you let her rip inside. And you turn this into a watermelon smoothie. Oh. Basically. So. I'm like, what are you making in there? You might want to like, you know, oh. add a little something to it if you're entertaining. That's my Just kind of a party. suggestion. Give it another <laughs> whirl here. And then. I'm gonna, I didn't whip it a ton, but if you give it a couple minutes, I'm gonna try my aim here with the bowl, and you get literally like this smoothie Slurpee, heaven, a watermelon baby. Slurpee. Oh yeah. Mm. Not bad. Fresh and delicious. I'm coming to your party if you throw in more of that stuff. <laughs> it's only watermelons at my party though. So it's just watermelons, no. that's it. No, only watermelons, <laughs> and cake actually. Cake. So cake. There's so many hacks out there for ways to cut cake. I, I didn't really? know all these years I've been doing it completely wrong. Yeah, apparently. like with a knife like that? With a knife. Apparently a knife is not the way the cool okay. kids do it. All right, how apparently do we cut a cake? the way to attack a cake dental is floss. with dental floss. Okay. Right? So the idea very is precise. very precise that you just slide it right through uh -huh. seamlessly. Now, I would imagine, <laughs> you guys a little cake in the eye, I would imagine at this point, this is where most people would then do, you know, a turn and cut it into rectangles, yeah. triangles. I know my, my shapes. Yeah. The actual right way to do it, I'm going to see if I can, like, explain this properly here, okay. is to cut right through the center and you would be basically taking out Oh, this that's whole my piece. heap of cake. Oh my Home. gosh. And since I didn't bring a plate, she's going to sit nicely right there. Mm. Okay. And then you would slide these together, the two pieces, so that you don't end up with the crusty end bits in between. Oh. If you see what I'm saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. Or. So it stays moist. So you keep, you keep slicing. Yes. You keep slicing from the side and, and pushing it together, it together. And smush it together. If you I do the triangles, just use a good old piece of bread. Yeah. Which I'm going to use to wipe the icing off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and stick some toothpicks right on the edge, and then that to will also keep it. it moist. Yes. Yes, I Stops love this. the crusty bits. Although, how long do you really keep a cake in order to create the crusty right? bits? I mean, <laughs> I'm in that cake. It's done by the end of the day. But I, I get the point. There's no crusty, yeah, no crusty There's bits no in crusty my house. There's no crusty bits on my cake. Now, speaking of bread, I know that you're a carb fan. Oh, I love we it. We talk about this. Carbon All chocolate, the time. right? Yes. So, onions. You cut onions up. Yeah. There's so many things out there about wearing the onion goggles. Yes. Chewing a pack of gum so that your eyes don't water. Right. Even putting the latest that I heard, also going to wash my hands here in the ice water. Yeah, do you um, want this? Well, I'll show this. Perfect. You can also use um, this. Putting onions in ice water before you cut them. Right. To stop the ice uh, from watering. Yes. I've heard now, all of that. Now, the latest uh -huh. in the onion cutting craze. Piece of bread. All right. Follow me. This is, this is very, very technical here. Yeah. The idea is, legend has it, mm -hmm. that the bread will absorb the <laughs> whatever is coming off the onion. Oh, I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm going with it because there's bread involved. Did you, do you actually try cutting I a did. onion with it? I did. Not a tear. Oh my Not gosh. a tear. <laughs> I have try to say. it at home. It works. Finally, a good use for white bread. Finally. <laughs> I'm sure brown works or multi grain. You, can, you don't have to be too precise about That's your bread. Hilarious. But yes, apparently it's supposed to act as a shield to your eyes yeah. to stop from your eyes watering. Do this when your guests are there, though. So, and don't explain. <laughs> so because they have to. Don't explain. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. I'm almost done. <laughs> 
And then to get the onion goo and stink yes. off your hands, Massimo actually taught me this trick. I was at his house and he was making lunch and I saw him washing his hands on the knife and I was like, whoa, that's some next level crazy. <laughs> and he said it's the stainless steel that actually takes the stink oh. away from garlic and onion. But then look, a smart company came out and they actually made- Don't shave your hand off. Don't use a knife. Use this. Use rub away. And you can basically oh. use this to get all of the smell from the onion and garlic that off is, your hands. That's very, very smart that's and simple. That's very smart. Simple now, and smart. We are a box lettuce family. Yes, we just are. It's easy, quick, yeah. but it wilts and gets gnarly fast. That's we find. right. So this is a little trick. My mom actually taught me this. Okay. Take some pieces of paper towel, you put it on top, mm -hmm. you close it up, and you store it upside down. Oh, so you don't and get And you won't get the bottom. slimy gunk. Yes. It will absorb all the moisture. And honestly, my salad stays fresher a week. Easily a week longer. Very good. Easily a week Because we longer. don't want to waste. We're wasters. No, exactly. Exactly. Okay, we can only pick like one of these okay. next things. What? Let's go with this because this has been popping on my uh, social media feeds for the last week. Okay. And I thought it's kind of crazy, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's do so, it. So bags of chips, popcorn, whether you elastic bag it, whatever you do. Yeah. Or you take your baby wipes package oh. and you take off the little plastic top on it and oh. it sticks right on the popcorn. Oh. Delightful. Very smart. Again, though, my thing is, the bag of popcorn isn't going to last long enough. It's to stick still not going to last long enough. Yeah. But the thought is nice. The thought the is hat very works nice. Great. I thought this it was keeps fantastic. It very fresh. Exactly. Good hacks, LA. I love it.